my go-kart project. This is a uh, long time work in progress, but I'm trying to do it on a uh, trying to do it cheaply so that it's more fun to me. Um, what I'm working on right now is uh, I'm trying to create a brake system for it. This uh, cart originally started as um, just a frame and a little bit of steering and a little bit of the brake components, but they're pretty much shot. Um, they might be rebuildable, this part, the master cylinder might be rebuildable, but I'm not too convinced that it will be. Um, so what I try to figure out is maybe an alternative um, method to replacing the brakes. Um, this is the original caliper that was on it, and it's pretty much shot. It's pitted on the inside of the bores. Some of the hardware has been damaged. Um, so I just, uh, I'm just going to assume that it's not going to be usable. In order to replace the brakes that are on it would be over $300. So I want to do this on a budget. So what I thought about doing was I got a brake caliper from a CBR 1000. And um, the way that I figured out that I could mock this up is I created a makeshift rotor uh, temporarily and I'm probably going to end up mounting it about like that. So it should fit in there nicely. I've got the uh, brake bleeder on the top. And then um, I will probably end up using a bracket. Something about like this. And I'll have to end up cutting this out so it will contour the caliper and the mount. I'll probably cut out with a plasma cutter and then attach it that way. I got some bolts here that already fit in there pretty good. Um, the rotor that I plan on using will be a quarter of an inch. Now I use a caliper gauge to check the distance in between here. Now I did go online and look at the brake thickness. The pad thickness um, is roughly a little over four millimeters when they have new pads on here. So the maximum rotor that could fit in here would have been a quarter inch, which is what I'm going to try to use. The stock sized rotor on a street bike um, CBR 1000 is probably going to be more like a 3 16 So, and then what I also picked up, now this is a rear uh, master cylinder for the rear brake on a CBR 1000. I want to try and see if I can use this with this. Now, I'm not sure that this is going to move enough fluid, but we're going to try to bench test it when I get this mounted up. If it doesn't work out, then I'll probably do a rebuild kit for the old master cylinder um, and we'll go that route but uh, after that um, I'll see if I can upload a uh, update video and see how all the mounting and everything went thanks